Hey guys, so I'm just gonna jump straight into this by using this Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash. Then I'm gonna be using this Bliss Clear Genius Toner. Gonna be using some cotton balls, some acne spot dots that I will be reviewing, and this chapstick. First, I'm gonna start off by wetting my face and then going straight in with the acne wash. Pouring a decent amount of that into my hand. Just about that much. Had to give it that smell before as well. And I'm just rubbing that all over my face and getting a good lather of it onto my face. Once I've finished, I'm gonna take a clean towel and wipe my face and get rid of all of that lather. Then I'm gonna go in with the toner, give it a good smell. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pump some of that onto this cotton ball. Then I'm going to just rub that onto my face and rub it all over the place for my face and my neck. Then uh, lastly, I'm just gonna take some of these acne spot dots and put them on my pimples. And if you guys want to, you can use your favorite moisturizer um, and also apply that to your face before this step. I'll explain my whole reasoning um, in the review. And here is what the spot dots look like. So I'm gonna take that biggest one and put it on one of my big old pimples. Then I'm gonna use one of the medium ones and also put that over one of my medium pimples. And then I just put a couple more on and just showing you guys a close up of how it looks. Then I'm putting it on some more of my pimples. And lastly, I just wanna look Cute. So I'm gonna put on some of this chapstick that also came within the box box. Here's what it looks like. And I had to push it down like that. All right, guys, that's it. Let's head into the rest of the review. Hey, guys, it's your girl, Fabulous Victoria, and I'm back with another video. But before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe. That way you guys could be notified of when I upload. And also hit that little bell. That way you guys can get notifications for when I upload. But in this video, guys, we are going to be talking about another box box that I received from Influencer. If you guys don't know what Influencer is, I'll go ahead and leave everything in the comment section down below. That way you guys can sign up and receive your own box boxes. 
In this box box, I received three items and I actually have a demo and review that I will be doing on these three items that I received. Now, one of the items I am wearing it on my lips and I must say that I really, really love these products. There is actually one product in there that I am actually willing to repurchase, but we will get into all of that once we get further into this review. So when you receive a box from Influencer, this is usually what it looks like. They come in various different colors though. Sometimes they give you like a lime green. Sometimes they give you blue. Sometimes it might be a pink kind of a box. Sometimes it might be the box that is based off of the whole brand that they're giving you of our particular item that they want for you to review. So this is how mine came and I'm going to show you guys all of the products that I received. So for one, I received these acne dots. I don't know if you guys can see them, but I received these acne dots, which I thought was an absolutely great product. Then I received this Clear Genius Bliss Clarifying Toner and Serum it looks like this is a full-size product and last but not least I received this chapstick in total hydration moisture plus tint and it is in the color pretty in pink and it looks like that okay so I'm pretty much gonna go in order one by one of the products that I used and how I use them in this demo so as I'll be talking, I'll be showing the demo and showing you guys the way that I actually use the products and that way you guys can get a visual as to what I am talking about. So first, I would like to talk about this Bliss Clear Genius Clarifying Toner and Serum. Now I did use my own face wash and that face wash is a face wash that I've just been using on the regular. So I did include it in so I can kind of do like a skincare kind of routine as well to, to kind of show you guys how I've been trying to take care of my skin. If you guys don't remember in my video where it was a get ready with me and I was doing my natural hair, I was explaining how my skin has just not been where I want it to be and how just overall it has been very difficult to get my skin to the way that I want it to look because of wearing those masks and everything else. So I've been definitely on a skin journey right now to get my skin to the point of where I want it to be. So I just showed you a product that I was using in the beginning. If you guys would like for me to do a separate review on that product as well, then I will definitely do it. Just give this video a thumbs up. When it came to the toner after I used the other product, I felt like this toner was absolutely amazing. For one, it was a very, very cooling feeling, but it wasn't overbearing like the Witch Hazel that I actually currently use. I feel like the Witch Hazel is very hard harsh kind of at times but this one felt more like cooling as in like relaxing so it honestly felt very relaxing to my skin and that was something that I really liked. I liked that it was also a gel rather than a liquid. I really liked that because it honestly reminded me of aloe vera. Some of the things that are included in this it has salicylic acid, it clears pores, which hazel tones, and then there's this other thing in it that's supposed to minimize pores, zinc PCA, which controls oil. And it says that it's also alcohol free, free from artificial fragrance and color parabens, phthalates, SLS, SLES, and more. It says here that you could pretty much use it and apply it on a cotton pad to your clean skin. Hence the reason that I did use my acne wash prior to me using this because you have to make sure that your skin is clean before you go in with your toner. And it did say that you could use moisturizer after but I did not know and I just kind of went straight into putting on the little pore strips things but I've used everything again later and it still works just as well. So whether you do it with the moisturizer or don't do it with the moisturizer, I just felt like when I did add my moisturizer, things kind of just fell into place a lot better because I like for my skin to, you know, be nice and moisturized feeling and not dry looking, so yeah. This product is also cruelty free and vegan. So if you guys are into, you know, using cruelty free things as well as vegan products, this would definitely be a plus for you to add into your skin regimen. 
Alright guys, so on to the next product. Now the next product is these Peach Splices Acne Spots. Now guys, uh, my initial thoughts on this product was I thought that I wasn't really going to like it and I thought that this was not really going to work. But I must say that this one was actually my favorite product. And this was one of the ones that I've been continuously using after and i'm going to honestly continue to purchase after the whole vox box now i want to give you guys a little summary of what this product does it says that it's a fast acting patch drug free non-drying absorb secretions for fast healing and i'm guessing this is like an asian based company it says made in korea so it's yeah it's an asian based company it says here transparent no color blemish sticker patches and here are some of the advantages that it's supposed to do for your skin it's supposed to help blemishes disappear quickly and effectively acts like a protective cover over the treated area diminishes distressed appearance of blemished skin hydrocolloid patch protecting wound skin and I do want to throw this out there. There's 30 patches in here, but they all come in three different sizes. So you get one that's kind of like a big one, and then you get a medium sized one and a small one. And then they're pretty much explaining to you how they work and everything. One thing that I did read on here is that these patches, you have to keep them on for about eight hours. Now, if you are like me and you don't really wear makeup and you just put the patches on, they do kind of absorb into your skin, but at the same time, you kind of don't want to go out in public when you have to keep these on for eight hours. That's how I was at least. I really didn't want to have to go out nowhere. So I was just kind of like, I'm just gonna stay in with eight hours and not really go out nowhere else. But they do have it to where you can put the patches on and actually apply your makeup. Because the whole premise of these patches is to get you to not touch your actual pimples. That's why I'm thinking about purchasing another one of these because I am one of those people that sadly picks their pimples, which I know that's disgusting and you guys are probably like, what the fuck girl? But yeah, I'm probably one of those nasty people that like Dr. Pimple Popper and that like pimples and just the, you know, euphoria that you get from squeezing a little gook out of the pimples and everything. That's me, I'm a weirdo, okay? All right guys, so the last product that I used is this lip color that I'm wearing right now, which is this Pretty in Pink chapstick little thing. Now it's fairly small but I feel like there's a lot in here. I just think that it's really cute as far as how small it is and just the packaging of it. I do think there is more colors to this but I'm not sure yet but I kind of want to get my hands on the other colors if there are other colors because this one here I love it because not only is this like a lip tint but it's also like a chapstick so it's literally two in one. That's what I really, really love about this chapstick. It does say that it is moisture plus tint, broad spectrum SPF 15. So also very, very great for the skin and protecting it from, you know, sun and everything else. So that's really cool about it. I don't really see any ingredients for this. It probably was on the actual thing itself. But guys, I was trying to clear out things and clean things up. But I just want to show you how it looks and everything. It is a very, very pretty pink color. Now, one thing I did not like about this thing was the roller. Now, to roll it up and to roll it down. I feel like to roll it down, I struggled so much to try to get it to, to roll down. And I did not like that. Now, that was probably the only thing I really hated. But the thing is, you know, if I'm trying to hurry and get ready and things like that, and I want to just grab something where I can have like a quick little lip color without having to go grab some lipstick and everything and worry about, you know, doing all the extras, I really just feel like this should be easier to roll up and roll down or else I'm gonna go for my applicator instead because you know I want to be quick when I'm putting on my lip glosses or lip chaps or whatever you know and I just hated that this was like that now the one thing that I did not like about this product as well was the fact that the pusher I also showed you guys in the demo as well but it's like a push pad thing and it took me forever to even figure out how to use this and I feel like when I did use a cotton ball with it to kind of get everything out 
it ended up spilling kind of all on the sides. I feel like it was a little bit unsanitary. When you wash your face and everything, your hands are gonna be clean, but I just feel like at the same time, you wanna be sanitary and keep all of the products that you do have on the pad itself or the cotton ball itself, rather than having to scrape the sides of it and everything. So I really wish they would have a different cap to the toner rather than this cap that they have. Other than that, the toner was amazing. There is really no complaints about this. The only complaint that I have about this is I just wish there was more in here. Other than that, I really can't complain about it. And I did visit the site to see how much these actually cost and they only cost about $2 and some change. So it's really, really not that bad. I've just noticed myself grabbing these, sleeping through the night, waking up in the morning, peeling them off, washing my face, and then the pimple's literally gone. Like that's what I absolutely love about this product. I wish I would have had a little bit more footage for you guys of this and me showing you guys those results, but trust me, if you use these, I'm letting you know right now, your skin's not gonna be dried out for one. For two, when you do put it on your pimple and you take it off the next morning, your pimple's literally gone. Alright guys, so we are now nearing to the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are enjoying me reviewing some of these box boxes, then please give this video a thumbs up and I will continue to keep giving you guys this content. If you guys would like to see other box boxes that I've reviewed in the past, you guys can go follow me on my Instagram. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a comment, like, and subscribe. Be sure to also follow me on all of my social medias. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!